Welcome to Pro Kitchen Online Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how quick and easy it is to create a design in Pro Kitchen Online. So without further ado, let's jump in and get started. To start, we need to follow the directions on the screen and click here to begin. Once our design window opens, we have the walls already attached to our mouse, so we simply need to locate a corner of our design to start in, and then we want to design in a clockwise motion. So I'm going to start here in the lower corner, and I'm going to do a simple left click, and you'll see it attaches a set of walls to my mouse, and I'm going to start moving it in the correct direction. I can get it exactly what I want with my mouse, and then I'll do a simple left click, and it'll automatically give me a 90 degree corner and start coming out the other direction. Now I can come out here and attempt to get 50 inches again, or I can simply use my keyboard. You'll notice that in the info panel on the left of my screen, we have a box that says length of 140 and a 16th inches, and that's highlighted blue. So all I need to do is type in, using my keypad, the length that I want my wall. In this case, 150 inches. And hit enter on my keyboard, and it automatically places that for me. Now, if I was going to build another wall, I could simply enter that dimension and hit enter on my keyboard again, and we'd be all set. I'm not doing another wall, so to end my walls, I want to hit zero and enter on my keyboard, or escape on your keyboard works as well, and that terminates our wall creation. Now, the very next thing we want to do is we want to come up here and click on our global specifications. And here we want to come in and set our global specs. So we'll do framed, we'll do full overlay, we'll scroll down here and we'll do a mitered square panel. You'll notice as we click on each one of these it gives us a nice little image in the info panel. Makes it a little easier to select your door style from our sample catalog if you're using sample catalog. If you're not using sample catalog, it places exactly the same way. We'll choose a nice hickory and pick a color here. Let's go with this one. No glaze, no finish techniques, and we'll do these nice little oil rub blondes knobs. Uh, now we have all of our global sets selected and so we can hit close and we're ready to start building our kitchen. So the first thing I like to place is my doors and windows because I usually know exactly where those are. So I'm going to click on my window icon. It opens up my windows. I'm going to choose a casement window. I'm going to scroll down here to 36 inches high and cherry Notice when I click on it, it comes up with another little panel here. I can adjust the sizes in this panel, so I want 36 by 36. Now I'm going to hit place. I'm going to drag it out here. Now I happen to know that I want it 54 inches from my left wall. So again, I can, I can try to place that with my mouse, and you'll get there eventually. But you'll notice in the info panel that my left dimension is already highlighted, so I'm simply going to type in 54 and enter and it places it automatically exactly where I want it. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. And you'll see I have my window placed out here at 54 inches. Now we're ready to start popping in some cabinets. So for cabinets, I'm going to start with my base cabinets. I'm going to start with my corner base, because again, I know exactly where that cabinet goes. We'll do a square corner, Lazy Susan, Super Susan, and we'll place a lefty out here. And again, it's just drag and drop, makes it really easy. Close out my folders as I go, makes it a little bit easier to see on these compact screens. I'm going to do a base cabinet, a base 15. Hinge that guy right, and he'll be setting right there. I'm also going to do a base 30. I'm just going to place him loose out over here. And then I want a base 33 as well, and it's going to go out on the other end. Now these last two I just placed, they're just out there in the general area because I know I need them. They're not in their final resting spot. 
Now I need a few other cabinets to go along with this. I need a drawer base cabinet, so I'll choose my drawer base. We'll use a drawer base 18, and it'll place right here. And after my drawer base, I'm going to need a sink base. Grab a sink base cabinet, 36. And it'll fit right here underneath my window. And that is about the end of my base cabinets. I do have a few appliances now that we'll place. And then we can firm up the placement on these other two cabinets that are just kind of loose. So we'll click on the appliance icon. And I want to start off with my stove. So we'll grab a range, electric range, and we'll grab this guy in place. And he drops right into place. Now we can go to my dishwasher. We'll place this one. And now my refrigerator. And we'll do a bottom freezer. And we need to hinge left, so we'll place him. And now I also need a microwave over the range. So we're going to grab that real quick. And we'll just grab the stainless one and place and cancel and now we have all of our appliances in place not necessarily in the right place drag that dishwasher over drag that base over with it right click on our microwave and hit center click on the stove drag that cabinet over drag this guy over we want to do a little bit of adjustment here on the refrigerator attributes go ahead make this guy a little closer to the size it would be in real life and okay and there we have the refrigerator and everything's in place now we're ready for our wall cabinet so we'll click on our wall cabinet selection and again I want to start with my corner wall cabinet so scroll down the corner walls and diagonal corner walls, diagonal corner walls, 30 inches tall, 24, 30, and we better grab a lefty so it matches our base cabinet. And we can close out of that. Now I just need wall cabinets 12 inches deep, 30 inches high. We're going to start here with a 27, 30. Stick one right here between the corner and the microwave. Move one around the corner over here from the corner to the window. We're also going to have one down here on the end. Now you can play with your mouse until you get that just right to three inches, or you can just simply hit tab on your keyboard twice, three on your keyboard, and enter. Places it automatically three inches from the end. And I'll need another 2730 out here. And then finally, I'll need a 3030 to finish up that hole. And that is the extent of my 30 inch tall wall cabinets. Now I need a 15 inch wall cabinet for over my range. And then I need a 12 inch wall cabinet for over my refrigerator. And now we have all of our cabinets in place. We can take a look at these in elevation by clicking on our wall and our elevation button. And here's our elevation. You can zoom in and zoom out if necessary. You can see here that our microwave needs to jump up a little bit. So we just simply click on it, grab that little green handle, and drag it up. If we want to view an elevation of our other wall, we just simply click on it and click elevation. And there's the elevation of our other wall. We're done with our elevations. Now you can adjust cabinets out here. You can place cabinets in elevation, all sorts of fun stuff. We have a tutorial on that if you need instructions. Now we'll go ahead and close that elevation. And the fun thing about this is, is once you close that elevation, you don't have to click on these walls again to see your elevation. Just come up and click on the elevation button, and then you can tab back and forth through them. Any changes that you made on your layout will show up automatically in your elevation. 
So now I'm going to click on my sync base cabinet. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to attributes. And this is how I'm going to place my sink and my faucet. Just going to simply grab a faucet here and add, close it, grab a sink, two basin, and add, and OK. And here's my sink and faucet. If we want to see that in elevation, click on the elevation button. And you can see our sink and faucets placed. Now, just a few more things and we'll have this complete design. So we need to go in and set some moldings. So to set our moldings, we're going to right click on our screen and choose design settings. Or you can go up to settings and design settings from there as well. But this is a little bit faster for me. And moldings tab, we'll go ahead and turn these on. It just randomly grabs a catalog, I think. We'll do sample catalog, sample catalog, and sample catalog. And we will do a beaded light mold. And for our top molding, we will do a classic decor crown. And for our toe kick, it's already set for us. So we're good to go here. We'll click OK. And now, to place our moldings, we'll come up to our toolbar, and we'll find our moldings tab which is this guy right here. We'll click on our moldings tab and you'll see that it's added our moldings. Now for our countertop, we've got two different ways to do countertop. We can do countertop designer. We've got a nice tutorial on that. It gives you a little more control over what your countertops are going to be. You can set edge profiles, all sorts of fun stuff there. For this tutorial, we're just going to do our quick countertop and we're just going to select it. And then the same thing with our backsplash. And now I've got countertop and backsplash placed in there. And again, you can click on your elevation button and see the countertop and backsplash. I'm going to close that elevation again. And now we've pretty much set everything. We've selected our door styles and our finishes and our wood species. We've built, put in all of our cabinets. We've added countertop and our moldings. And so our design is basically done. Next thing we need to do is create a 3D. So go click on the 3D button here. The 3D will pop up for us. And there we go. And that was in real time, by the way. So you can see how fast we build a 3D. Now again, we just have our default wall color, our default countertop color, our default flooring. We can go in through design settings and change all of these. Move it up so you can see the whole thing. And there's our nice kitchen. We can create a high def for it. And so here's our high def. We can print this guy off if we want. And then if we wanted to create a panorama, we could come up here and click on the panorama button and it would build a nice panorama for us. But we'll take a look at a panorama of a kitchen that's fully set up with all the lighting and details that looks great in panorama. So we can close this out and go back to our layout. And here you can really now see how quick and easy one can create a design using Pro Kitchen Online. With very little training and very little time and a little bit of planning, your kitchen designs can be very quick and easy. Now let's take a look at a nice panorama from one of our gallery designs and see just exactly how beautiful they can turn out. Here's a nice panorama to end this tutorial on. And this has been Pro Kitchen Online Design in 10 video tutorial. Thank you for watching.